Um, are we going to vote on this tonight, or? No, there's no, nothing there's to vote on. Okay, it's, yeah. no, it's just a discussion. Yeah. So at this point, I mean, we've approved the plan. Right. Um, but we can't move the way we've typically done these plans. I mean, there are a couple of factors, one of which sort of relates to we do have a new director coming on, and we'd sort of like to get a little input from him rather than just say, oh, by the way, you know, may I just? Um, although he definitely has the experience to do that. Um, but we, we want, we've typically done these things with a construction manager. And because we do not have in-house expertise to manage these projects. And it's, we are required to go through a process that's called request for qualifications. It's, it sounds like, oh, just tell us why you're qualified. But it's actually a specific process of presenting those qualifications that we then have to review and our attorney takes a look at them as well and reviews that, that this person has in fact met the standards to fulfill that role. Right. It, it sounds like, specific. oh, well, just tell us why you're qualified, but it's actually more technical than that. Mm -hmm. Right. So that's where we are. We. <laughs> <laughs> Um, director's report. Okay. Um, our Library of Things collection has been um, very popular, and thanks to Betty, who's been spearheading all of us to get us moving on what needs to be done. We are adding more items that have holes already. And we also are going to add um, four portable CD players. That actually came out of the youth department because they have a lot of books on CDs. And they, they found that they weren't really circulating, well, because the kids oh. don't have CD players. Right. So we're hoping that the portable CD players will increase that circ. Mm -hmm. And I mean, they're not just limited to children. It's, it's for mm -hmm. everybody. Mm -hmm. So this is library card sign-up month in September. And I, I've included um, a few of the 30 ways, 30, 30 days, 30 ways to use your Wilmet library card. The community services has been putting in Facebook, and it's you know the way Facebook works. If you aren't, don't go visit the page. But look, there are some really clever things. So Sarah Beth is going to, once the 30 days are over, accumulate all of this, kind of put it together so that it's not lost, and it's um, a variety of different things. The example that I have are those that cute little Bebot and Ozopa, mm -hmm. and then Hoopla, um, and. I, Today, I think she, no, I can't even remember what she did today. Computers, a variety of different things. So we have bags. I mean, all, all sorts of services throughout the library. I just think it's a really good way to um, publicize what we have. Um, we've also some pop-up craft um, programs that have been going on. Professor Plum will be at the French Market this Saturday. Thank you, Stuart. Mm -hmm. And um, we also today is um, National Voter Registration Day. Um, and so we had the League of Women Voters, thank you League of Women Voters, register voters today. And Thursday night there's going to be an informational session mm -hmm. on um, for college students, absentee, new and relocated voters. Mm -hmm. Also in your packet behind attachment seven is this report that we had through our Lyra Insurance Company. Um, essentially, we had this very nice gentleman come and ask us lots of questions. It was a group fill out the questionnaire, and you can see all of our answers. But what's interesting at the back is um, these are recommendations. He said it's not going to affect our insurance coverage at all, but these are just good examples of um, ways to, to control our loss. <laughs> now, that picture of the the cutting board, I'm oh, yeah. sorry to say, is in technical services. <laughs> it's probably 35 years old. Uh -huh. We're very careful, even though it doesn't have a latch. The paper but, cutter. The paper cutter, yeah. but it yeah, got a big picture. <laughs> but it works so much better than some of the newer ones, so we're, uh, we're still yes. keeping that. I would agree. But we are sending, um, you know, facilities have started to work on some of these things. Um, farther on in the page, 
I'm not going to name her because she doesn't want to be named, but that's one of my tech services, people, her feet. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. She's on a box. Yeah. And we now have, um, we bought some really nice footrests. That's a great idea. And then also we bought something to go along the edge of the, the desk, the desk mm -hmm. for where it get more comfortable. Right. Yeah. Right. So I mean, these are all great ideas. Yeah. And the great. whole point is to reduce risk, reduce injury, yeah. potential injury. risk, yeah. not right. even risk, risk, but right. just potential risk. Right. Um, I thought it was a pretty, very comprehensive. Yes. Um, I did too. Yeah, I thought it was really good. Survey. I remember once in a private workplace, I once I was once complaining, and I didn't realize that by just my usual sort of complaining about something about the height of the keyboard, man, because it was a big company, they were on that right away. They, they had a company and they redid the, because people who spend time working in that posture can mm -hmm. end up, you know, they, need, they can yeah. end up injured if it's not right really sure. for them. Mm -hmm. right? mm -hmm. So I'm sure, he, I think this is an annual thing. I think he comes back and says, so what have you done? <laughs> have you, but, um, Since we're new to the Lyra system, this is the yes, first time this we've is done the first the time we've yeah. ever done it. Well, that's so, yeah, no, it's very it's it, helpful. Yeah, I was mm -hmm. glad to do it. Um, so Roger Ritzman, our lawyer, now we're close personal friends. <laughs> um, <laughs> just kidding. And um, there, he... One of the things that, th that they do is they send out information that they think will be important for their library clients. And so this, I thought, was interesting for those trustees who might be interested in running again, that there are new um, criteria. Right. You must be a registered voter. You must have resided in the library district for at least one year as of the filing of the nomination petition. You must not be delinquent in paying real estate taxes to the library district or other indebtedness. And you must not have a conviction for any infamous crime, bribery, perjury, or other felony. So I don't know what, you know, the language has changed, but you have to make sure that if you want to. Yeah, like, right. Uh oh, that did it, huh? She said, oh, well. she said we just barely made oh, it in. Right, 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 right. right. So. The parking tickets are okay. Oh, that'll you be next pay your year. Yeah. Next, time. Uh, next election. Well, that's right. <laughs> so the next news is that Karen Joshi, our head of youth services, it gave us her resignation. She'll be leaving the library on November 30th to move to Washington, D.C. with her family. It is a huge loss for the library. She mm -hmm. has done such a fabulous job. She is a very intelligent woman who um, analyzes things in a way that I will, I will really miss. And so um, we have created a job description, and Mike Boone has posted it in a variety of different places. And we have gotten a number of responses back. So we're, I think the closing date is October 12th. And so what we're going to do is have a committee, and then we hope to then have bring back candidates in time for when our new director will be on mm -hmm. board so that he will have a chance to meet the candidates as well. Mm -hmm. So we wish Karen well, and um, we're going to plan a, a library okay, okay. to do uh, for her. So we can maybe we rename some of the, the play furniture up in the. Well, yeah. 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 I mean, <laughs> she no, she's brought, done a. No, she brought that's what. Yeah, she brought that, that stuff in. Was yeah, amazing. She has yeah. Done yeah. A lot. yeah, yeah, really. So how long has Karen been here? It's about eight, seven, eight years. Yeah, yeah. I think because when what I think when I came on the board, bring? which was seven, what stuff did you bring in? Remember those those those. those uh, Plus, we share a bird today. I'm gonna have to email her when it's. Not the same year, but the, <laughs> but the same date. So, which is you know kind of unusual. But. So tomorrow, the leadership team is hosting a staff appreciation luncheon. Hmm. We'll have a, a an afternoon and then a food for the evening crowd. So when I go home here, I'll be cutting my cucumbers. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Talked about that, and Betty will be cooking, I'm sure, or whatever. So it's it's something that we started doing when um, the library received turkeys from our cleaning service huh. and then Ellen Clark used to bake or you know, roast them I guess uh -huh. you roast a turkey and then it just kind of progressed and the staff just really seemed to like it and mm -hmm. so we're continuing it this year Mike is baking pies. Oh, no. Uh, I'm there. <laughs> well, I guess if you want to stop by, um, go, go for it. No, sure. yeah, yeah, no. 
So, and also, um, Mike is looking at, he went to an HR uh, group uh -huh. meeting, and the, he's actually, like, I want to thank you, and this has nothing to do with Barb, because I think Barb did a fabulous job being financial as well as HR, mm -hmm. but almost daily I see the benefits of having a full-time HR dedicated. person yeah. on the mm -hmm. staff. I mean, right. he's just been very helpful in a number of different ways. Plus, he's a fabulous person. Mm -hmm. so. And he's a good cook. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's <laughs> right. That's right. So. Um, so now in terms of programming, um, I thought this was a unique idea. I imagine it was Betty's idea. At least it came out of her department that um, the library is hosting on Saturday, that this Saturday, mm -hmm a death cafe. So it's a safe place where people can come and talk about death and dying. There's a facilitator who is coming to, who's done this in a number of other mm -hmm. libraries. Um, you know, right. it's, a, it's actually Jill McCune's idea. Oh, okay. Oh. And, um, yes, they are, and they've done this at a number of libraries. It's, it's a national, international kind of initiative to mm -hmm. kind of provide some safe space for people to come and share their thoughts about that concept. Yeah. Okay. Is, is it, it one is time it? or ongoing? Well, uh, right now it's only been scheduled for this particular okay. date, and we'll see what kind of turn mm -hmm. out. It is a, it is a great idea. Yeah. There's a new book that came out in the last year, maybe, I don't know if the person coming in will have it, but it's all about how our culture hasn't done a good job of educating about like a healthy way to, to look at death. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if that book is available. I, I, yeah. I imagine it I mean, is. I don't know if we, yeah. I can find the name if it helps, but, yeah. But. yeah. Mm -hmm. If not, we'll get it. Mm -hmm. I mean, it is, uh, there is a lot of interest, and uh, we don't have a way as a society to really right. kind mm -hmm. of explore it. Right. That'll be interesting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I also included, plus I thought it'd be colorful, um, Betty did such a nice job with this email blast, giving you an idea of some of the um, book-related um, book programming that we're having going on. And I just want to remind everybody on Thursday, October 18th at the Wilmette Junior High School, we will be having Abdi Noor Ifton talking about his book, Call Me American. So everyone is welcome to come to that. Great um, book. The one thing, I mean, Joan talked a little bit about the summer reading club statistics, but I just, like, this blows me away that the kids read a total of over 8,000 yes. hours. Yeah. That was just that's wonderful. That's amazing. So that's great. And we're going to have our um, fall community art show. Oh, no, we did. Yeah. Yeah, and we had yes, the opening we reception, right. Oh. And it's going to be up until early November. Can I back up for just a second? Sure. Uh, next time we do this, I'd like to see the report on what the adults read, sure. too. Like the number of. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's not quite we as. Yeah, well, no, it wouldn't be, but I'm just curious. I thought it was listed. We don't, yeah, we, we don't, don't do hours. We, we do number of books, but we just yeah. have to see yeah. what yeah. books we did. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sure, I will definitely ask Betty for those. Can I add that um, there was a wonderful gift that. Oh, yes. Right. Oh, yes. Thank you very much. If you the the portable charger. charger. If you got there early um, enough. Oh, yeah. oh, oh, so our, our friend's support went to this, and, and I'm <laughs> yep. the recipient, and I'm delighted. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Uh, oh, I also wanted to show you that this is a one-page summary that community services, oops, where to go? put together just with our same theme, just something that we, we can pass out like in our new um, registration. Mm -hmm. that people get new library cards and also um, just a nice one page mm -hmm. summary of our strategic plan. Oh yes, and we have a new, um, a new piece of equipment in our computer room. It is a slide negative oh, yeah. as well as photo digital converter and it works it's really cool. Cool. That's very um, nice. It took some training to get to figure out how it works, mm -hmm. but I think that it will be a really good service for people like I used to. <laughs> and and do, would a patron come in and use it themselves? They'd be taught how to do it, and then you could, so you could take right. slides and then put them onto right. a CD. I think that people will need to have a certain yeah. amount of yeah. training, training and how to use it, <laughs> mm -hmm. and then they would be let go. Right. But I, it's not that hard to use. Okay. Yeah. It, it a, really isn't. Thing. And then just that the um, a digital services department is also doing a number of um, fall classes, and they've had good registration so far. So there's all the classes. Now, 
on to our um, just our search statistics. And I, one thing that popped out at me is that the people of Wilmette like our um, hot picks because that, uh -huh. yeah. I mean, you walk right into the library and it's, you know, with the things that people have chosen, the adult services, the youth services for the films, what would be the most popular ones? And so those have great search statistics. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that that's really nice. And the, the, the people at the desk know those books because I walked in asking for one once uh, and she said, oh, it's right there. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. It's in the hot picks. So that was right. nice. So, mm -hmm. And um, what did I want to say about this? Oh, I wanted to just say, like, I, I, you can thank me for some of the canopy statistics. I really wish that people would just discover it. It's fabulous. It's streaming movies. I have seen some delightful movies and moving mm. movies, things that are more, not blockbuster type movies, but mm -hmm. it's really, um, it's your library card. All you have to do is just log in, with, create a, a username and password mm -hmm. with your library card, and wow. you can use, you can see 10 things a month. You, but I think 10 is a lot. Do you think it's possible, well, I'll just talk later, that like when you, I was here last night, and you had a lot of people here last night, would it be possible maybe to give light before a program where you have that many people, like a two-minute,